Taiwan produces some of the best fruit in the world, but when supply exceeds demand, farmers can't sell their harvest at a profitable price or sell it at all. One man saw a valuable business opportunity in this predicament. Lin Jizhi buys pineapples from farmers at a fixed price that's always higher than the market rate. Then he turns that fresh fruit into a premium filling used for desserts like Taiwan's famous pineapple cake. Over the years, this business model has supported the livelihoods of local farmers. It's also created a national brand with more than a 50% market share. Tonight, in our Sunday special report, we look inside Taiwan's food processing industry, one of the most valuable lifelines for the modern-day farmer. April is the start of the fruiting season for pineapples in Nanto. These plump, fresh pineapples are the reward of a year's hard labor. However, whenever supply exceeds market demand, the price of a kilogram of fruit can drop as low as 5 NT. This means that each pineapple sold ends up costing the farmer money. This product is seasonal. When quantity is high, when there is an imbalance in supply and demand, the price will be low. This is a real blow to farmers who have worked so hard all year. Simply put, I don't know how much the pineapples I grow today can be sold for at harvest. But for farmers who work with Lin Jizhi and Taiwan Pine Cooperative, there is no need to worry about unwanted pineapples. They sell to a fixed buyer who processes the fruit. Lin buys pineapples at a set price, and he buys them year-round. He's built a rapport with farmers over the years, and more and more farmers are joining the cooperative through word of mouth. Fresh fruit is brought directly to the food processing factory when they are fully ripe. First, the tops and bottoms of the pineapples are cut off, with those showing rot immediately discarded. The healthy fruits are placed on the conveyor belt before they're peeled and cut into pieces and then frozen. Not a bit goes to waste. It takes 12 kilograms of pineapple to make just one kilogram of fruit filling. The fruit is mixed with refined sugar and maltose and then heated to 110 degrees Celsius for two and a half hours while being continuously stirred. Fresh pineapple is transformed into a thick filling, the fiber of the fruit still visible. Over his nine years experience processing pineapples, Lin has made product quality his top priority. Today, more than half the pineapple fruit filling used in Taiwan comes from Lin's factory. Although the business is running smooth these days, Lin had a bumpy start. In the early days, both farmers and consumers had this impression of processed foods, this impression that they are second-tier products. To them, processed fruit was leftover fruit that consumers didn't want. They thought that the ingredients weren't necessarily what was identified on the packaging. Perhaps the product didn't contain any of the listed ingredients and was just made to have the same texture and taste. Food safety scandals made it worse, fanning fear in the hearts of consumers. The year after the plasticizer scandal, roughly around that time, people became more exacting with their food standards. Consumers approached it with the angle of, I don't want to be tricked. Just be honest about what your product is. In the face of a skeptical public, the food industry struggled to overturn the negative image of processed fruit. So before, you'd have handmade food products. With handmade food products, how do you ensure that they meet hygiene and safety standards? Right now, our quality control system focuses only on inspecting the final product. We have to strengthen quality control along the entire production process. Thirty-one-year-old Huang Guanwen originally worked as a social worker in a nursing home. Three years ago, he switched careers and began growing guavas. He farms sustainably with a premium on food safety. 
even this grass here. The cultivation of this grass requires breeding the natural predators of harmful insects that would destroy it. Huang spent more than a year on grass alone, cultivating healthy turf one blade at a time to produce sweet and crispy guavas. But in the end, his harvest was jeopardized by insects. Basically, the fruit looked unappealing, so that lowered the price, because everyone likes beautiful things. I really wasn't happy to accept that. I found myself asking, if my guavas are delicious and they're healthy, why do I need to sell them for less? So I thought to myself, what if I process them so that their appearance has less impact, thereby allowing me to sell them for more? Like most farmers, Huang was unfamiliar with food processing and didn't know where to begin. After getting more information from the government, he got in touch with the Farmers and Consumers Service Center, later visiting the center in person with his guavas to learn how to process them. At the station, farmers are taught each step of the procedure, from preparing their fruit to sales to the production process itself. After six months, Huang was fully armed with the know-how he needed. With the help of the government, he found a factory to turn his fruit into dried guava. He says that once he's got enough sales, he'll buy the equipment to start making it himself to bring the food safety risk to its minimum. One important point is that farmers have to do proper quality control at the source. Even more important is for farmers to understand the entire production process, to do tests to ensure that the SOPs and implementation are all up to the standard. Finally, they have to make sure the product complies with the law. Another farmer who turned to food processing is Nantou pineapple farmer Huang Yuyi. After learning about Lin's cooperative from a friend, Huang Yuyi decided to join in. I knew someone who was working with a food processing factory, and I was working with that person, so we set up a contract. When farmers first join us, they have doubts. They wonder why I'm willing to pay the prices I'm paying, given that the market rate is so low. They say, you business people are unscrupulous. These past several years, I have been saying to them, I will prove myself to you over time. Over these several years, farmers have come to trust Lin and his way of doing business. Lin takes the fruit any time of year and always pays 17 NT per kilogram, 2 NT more than what wholesalers pay on average. After sowing their seeds, farmers give Lin an update, telling him how much they're planting. If they produce more than expected, Lin will work with other farmers in the co-op to adjust production schedules. Once their fruit is nearly ready to harvest, the farmers send photos of their orchard to Lin. Pineapple that's still a little green and underripe is best. Although yellow pineapples are sweet and juicy, they aren't as suitable for processing. Picking fruit at that precise degree of ripeness is the first step to capturing the natural flavor. Overripe fruit will not taste as fresh when it goes through processing. If the fruit is not very good, then during processing, I will need to add this or that. Timing is also essential during processing to achieve that perfect texture. You have to put in the right ingredients at the right time. For example, the sugar has to be added at intervals. You also can't add any artificial preservatives. If you pay attention, you'll notice that products with preservatives produce a slight tingling sensation on the tongue. Flavoring additives smell good from a distance, but in the mouth they don't produce a pleasant taste. Real fruit produces only a mild aroma, but when you consume it, the flavor fills your palate with every bite, and its layers slowly present themselves. Delivering this natural fruit flavor to the customer requires careful timing and attention. As soon as the pineapple filling is removed from the pot, it must be bagged up while at a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius. This prevents bacteria from growing in the filling and keeps the sweetness of the pineapple trapped inside. The way the product is packaged will affect the way its properties change. Packaging materials now are all composite. They have several layers, each with their own special properties. If these layers are made well, there is no need to add preservatives. Real fruit products packaged like this will taste better over time. Fruit filling made with fresh fruit will have a richer color the longer it is stored. 
The changing color is also proof that the product is preservative free. Over the years, Lynn's filling has gained traction in the market, winning the business of countless high-profile dessert makers. Dessert maker Zhang Shuqing found Lin while searching for a locally made fresh fruit filling for her pastries. She visited Lin in Nanto and asked him to custom make a pineapple filling for her. Our pineapple filling is two or three times the going rate, but our repeat customer rate is very high, more than 50 percent. Shaken beverage shops have a reputation for using low-quality materials. But with consumers growing more and more health conscious, shops have begun selling drinks made with fresh fruit. This drink, which uses real pineapple and honey, has only been on the market for a month, but has already become a bestseller. Each shop sells up to 10,000 cups per day. Processed foods are easy to store and conveniently portable. They can also throw a crucial lifeline to farmers fighting volatile wholesale prices.